Welcome back to my new video. I'm in Kuala Lumpur, uh, Malaysia, and I'm now in my hotel. I just arrived a few hours ago on the airport. Uh, basically, I'm on my way back to the Netherlands and I have 50 hours to explore Kuala Lumpur. So basically, that's the plan uh, today. Not gonna lie, not gonna do too much today anymore. Uh, we're gonna explore the hotel where I'm in. It's pretty sick. Uh, I will show you the room. And then tomorrow we're gonna explore the city. And then the day after that, I will leave at seven in the evening. So I even then I have a lot of time to explore uh, Kuala Lumpur. So it's gonna be a pretty hectic, full f uh, couple of days. But yeah, that's gonna be interesting. So um, keep watching and you can see all the things that are to do in Kuala Lumpur. And if you ever have a layover for more than 24 hours, you know exactly what to do. So let's go. pretty cool but I just didn't I didn't came here only for the room uh, I'm now at the moment on the 25th floor but if I'm not incorrectly uh, the highest place is more than 40 floors up so uh, and you have I think the pools there and you have an incredible view uh, so let's check it out let's see what this hotel actually has to offer for us As you can see, it's uh, dark now, but the pool is really cool. It's, uh, it's a cool hangout spot. It's open till 10, so can't complain. Look at the view. Behind me, there's also a gym, where I probably will go gym tomorrow, so I will show you the gym then. So, and we're back in the room after uh, a fun swim at the pool. The view definitely changed a bit. So far, it's a really cool place. Uh, tonight, we're gonna have an early night. Tomorrow, we're gonna do more exploring of the city and also in the hotel. There are a lot of stuff that we didn't explore just yet in the hotel. So I'm uh, excited to go on a journey tomorrow and show you guys everything I can find. So far, yeah. That's it for tonight. Have a good night. Nothing wrong with waking up like that. So, first thing I'm going to do is gonna take a shower and then we're gonna grab a coffee from the lobby. I, uh, I can use some caffeine. So, I got my coffee. It's uh, really nice to have some good coffee. They have instant coffee over here, but I was like, nah. I saw the coffee machine yesterday down there. I was like, I will get some good coffee today. So that's sorted out. The next thing is making a good plan. I have found some highlights to do here in the city. Now it's just figuring out uh, how to get there because I don't want to do them all with taxi. I want to do some public transport just, just because. Um, so I'm gonna make a plan. What is logic to go around in the city to which place and thing like that. So yeah. Next stop will probably be Buddha Caves. It's a pretty impressive place. It's 15 kilometers away from the city center. So it's pretty close by. That's the first stop. Let's go there. Here we are. Let's uh, let's see what they all what it has to offer. I saw a lot of different pictures and beautiful things online, so let's check it out. But before we do that, let's try to get some food because I didn't have breakfast this morning. So I saw that they have some restaurants around here. So let's check them. So they have a lot of restaurants. 
restaurants around here and I uh, ordered some food. So after we uh, went, after we eat, we're going up the stairs and we're going to explore this place. That was some good food. Um, now it's time to pay and go up. But first, let me finish my coffee. Quite tough up the stairs, so not mad that I didn't go to the gym this morning. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. This uh, place is pretty uh, impressive. Uh, I don't know if the camera actually shows you how high and how big this cave actually is. It's really sick to see all these structures inside here as well. Maybe it's just me, but I'm mostly intrigued by why there are chicken up here. Look at that. I saw some on the way as well, so it's quite interesting. <laughs> it's time to make the climb back down again. If you are here, please visit this place as well. It's a really cool temple. I uh, didn't film inside because a lot of people were there for prayer and well, if they're doing a prayer, you should leave them alone. So that's why I didn't film inside, but it's a really cool place. And if you're respectful, you can definitely check it out. That was Batu Caves, now it's time to figure out public transport. I don't know, we, uh, we're gonna see. Okay, so we are on our, on our way. It's uh, not gonna lie, it can be quite hard to figure out where you actually have to go. Not gonna lie, I should have downloaded, I should have downloaded a, uh, an app for public transport, but I didn't. So we're doing everything a little bit on the fly today and probably tomorrow, but that's just because I have such a short amount of time here in Kuala Lumpur that I didn't take the time to figure it out, but just go with the flow. At the same time, it's really good. It's a good experience to have no internet access and no helping apps and just figure out what to do. So the next thing I want to do here in Chinatown is find some food that we can eat. So that's the next mission. So at the moment we are in the Chinatown food market. It's, uh, it's pretty busy here. They have a lot of different good options. It's a, it's a cool place. I myself went for the wonton with a cola. So let's check it out. Some, uh, some good food, now it's time to go back on the streets and start exploring again. So that was Chinatown.
So this is the place where Kuala Lumpur got its independence. You see a lot of uh, colonial buildings around here. And in the back, you also have the longest uh, flagpole in the world, or former longest flagpole in the world with 95 meters. So nowadays you have longer flagpoles than that, but once it was, it's, uh, it's pretty massive. So the weather is quite intense today. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going back to the hotel because there's a lot to explore there. Uh, I didn't see all uh, the things they have to offer. So we're gonna do that and then later tonight we're going we're gonna come out and explore more of the city, uh, some restaurants, some rooftop bars, stuff like that. So we're back at the hotel room. The weather definitely changed. Uh, it's raining up there and thunderstorm is coming. So it was a good uh, good choice to go back to the hotel. So it's been raining quite a bit now. So I'm not sure if we are actually if I'm actually going out later tonight. But I definitely have enough to do here in a hotel and just chill out. Uh, maybe that's a smarter decision because I also have to travel a lot tomorrow. Just chill out for tonight. We're now in the gym. That's in, on the top floor, same as the pool. Doing a workout. It, uh, it has some incredible views up here. So unfortunately the jacuzzi and steam room is closed, so the other pool I will not visit today. Basically what I'm doing to now is going back to the room, I'm gonna prepare my bag and everything like that, uh, so we can go back uh, to the airport and check out. So I'm already at the airport, uh, basically everything uh, went wrong today, but we made our next flight. So unfortunately I didn't get uh, got a chance to film uh, a lot today. So basically this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.